Hi and welcome to 3D Print Tech Design. Today is a pretty short video, it's a fast one. It's a pretty simple one as well. So the goal today is to take this, the SpaceX Dragon 2 capsule that I model, that works with 3D printing, and um, the plan is to make this dual extrusion. So, um, for example, this, the heat shield here, it's already black, but I want to have these, uh, I think it's Draco engines, I want to have those black as well, as well as these RCS ports. So we have two things that we need to color black, and I'm going to show you the basic, the super simple way of doing that inside of Fusion 360. So let's just jump into it. All right, so here is the file. We have quite a lot of models here in the... In, in this whole scene. So the first thing I want to do is just hide some of these ones that we are not going to use. I'm just hiding here, um, that hatch as well. That should be one part. Now, before we continue, it's important that we create a new component because finally, when you have the two SDLs files, so you have one SDL for black, one SDL for white, we need to have those in the same coordinate system. So the simplest way to do that is to just create a new component. Oh, I will change resolution so it's easier for you guys to see. There we go, that should be a little bit better. Okay, so the, the first thing we do is that we are creating a new component. So let's go ahead and do that. That, and we will call this dual extrusion, like so. And you can see that it already activates that component. Now, I need to have this body, I'm not sure where it is. It looks like it's in here, it's in bodies. That's the body, so control C uh, when I have that selected. I'm gonna go ahead back in the, this one and click control V. Now that is in our dual extrusion component and we can actually right click on this one and select isolate, and, which means that everything else is hidden so we don't have to kind of worry about all the other models. Now, one of the problems here is that uh, I don't have the, the correct angles on these engines. So my, my plan is to basically create a sketch from this view and do a intersect where I will basically just cut out the existing area. Um, and to figure that out, we need to have the angles on uh, like this engine here. What, what is the angle on that one in relation to X and Y? And the same goes for the other ones. Now, everything is in symmetry, so it's quite sim easy to get it done. Now, I'm going to show you a way how I sometimes do this. Uh, the first thing is that I'm just creating a, um, a new plane here. And on that plane, I will create a sketch. In that sketch, I will then project some of these edges. So let's go ahead with this one. We can project this line here, for example. We can also go ahead and project this one. Just make sure that we have two copies in case something is rotated. So when we've done that, um, I want to create a new line from that one to this one and also this one to that one. This gives us a straight line that we can then measure from. I do the sketch dimension. So for example, if I click D now, or go here to sketch and sketch dimension. If I click on that and I select this line and this line, I will have a angle. It doesn't matter if it's uh, over constrained. I just wanna make sure that these two angles are exactly the same. And it looks like they are. They are both 29.1 millimeters. It doesn't really matter because what I did in the first step is usually the only thing that we need. So I know that these are symmetrical because everything has been drawn up symmetrically. So I can actually take this, uh, this single line here and extrude that using the patch extrude. So if we do that, let's say 20 millimeters, that's really all we need because now we have a new plane to sketch on. So on this plane, you can see now that we are perfectly parallel to this engine, which means that if I want to, and I will be doing that, if I click here, look at the plane, you can see now that we have this model here and we are ready to draw from that one. Hmm, interesting, the holes, I didn't actually align the holes perfectly. <laughs> That's interesting. You can see the rest of the model is good. So that's enough for us to sketch on. So let's go ahead and continue. So I will be using these parts here as my reference. So if we go down here and we'll just hide the bodies, you can see here what I have now sketched. So if I close this up like so, and we can also delete this inner one. Now we have our profile of our engine mount. 
So, um, but as you can see here, we're, if we're going to do a dual extrusion, this will be a little bit tight. So I'm actually going to do a small offset on this, that sketch. So let's go ahead again and hide the body so it's easier to, for you guys to see. So if we do a small offset here, let's say, uh, or actually, we want to remove this one for now. And if we do an offset, we can have that, let's say 0.6 millimeters. That should be fine for 3D printing. Or well, let's actually go with 0.8. Leaves a little bit margin when it comes to using the nozzles. New line here. Note that these are over. So I'm gonna just trim those. There we go. So what have we done now? Well, we have created a inner sketch here that we will be using to, if I extrude this one, we can actually create intersects. We're going to go on two sides. So you can see here that now we are creating a new model here. We don't have to go that far in. I think that should be enough. So if we, if, if we just continue here, this will be the black area of the SDL part. So we need to have four of these. But before we continue, there's a few more things that we need to do. So I just click Control Z. We have our sketch left and we have our body. We also have this body up here, but we can actually hide that now. We don't need this one anymore. So this is our main bottle. So let's call that backup. Because what we'll then do is that we'll click Control C, Control V to get a new file. And this is what we will call a uh, whole model. And if we make a copy of that one again, we can call this uh, black. Uh, engine and then it will hide the other ones so now if we do our sketch here this one and we'll extrude the inner parts so this is the area the inside here we need to have that um, let's say that is seven millimeters so let's go with 8.67, yeah, 8.7 or 8, 8.8. 8. Then we have a little bit of a thickness. So I'll even make this dark just so it's easier to see uh, which part it is. Now, of course, we have just one of these engines. So what we need to do is that we'll have to mirror it. We can mirror those planes, repeat that mirroring process on this plane. And there we go. Now we should have ready for all the parts. You can see that they're currently uh, in, just laying in the same space. So we're not really ready just yet. The next step is to, so you see we have all our black engines here and this is our whole model. So let's select the whole model. We will use cut in the combine tool and then we will select all of these engines. So these engines are now cutting into our uh, main body. Really important here to keep the tools because we need we need to use them later as well. So if we do this cut command now, ta-da! You can see that if I hide these four engines, we now have a whole space here. So th that that's basically how it's done. So now you have four STL files here for the black parts, and we have one for the white parts. I can even don't do this, but I, I will show you guys by moving this one here. You see here again how they are uh, connecting. Now, if you're eagle-eyed, you will note this area. So this is one of the RCS engines. So we need to continue with this process. I mean, it's all done if you want to print it now, but I want to do the RCS engines as well. So let's go ahead and, and actually go back a little bit because we don't want to cut just yet. So you see now if I hide these ones here, we still have our, uh, our, our whole model. So I, I went back a few steps, but if all you wanted to do, that was the first step. And now I'm gonna show you how we can continue this using the uh, RCS engines as well. What we want to do now is to create the same thing again, new bodies to cut from. So I'm actually going to go into each and every one here. Let's say, I don't know, eight millimeters, 8.5. So I'm creating a new circle and I'm also extruding that. I am extruding it both ways. So let's say two millimeters down. No, not two. Let's go with one millimeter down, sorry. Like so. 
and also up. So the reason I'm going down is because the bottom of these RCS NES will also be black. So I will create a new body here. Like so. And this will be RCS1. And then we'll go ahead and continue doing that on these three ones. Now if we hide our whole model here, I believe that yes, these are intersecting. So we can actually combine all of them. Join is what I want to do. And we don't need to keep the tools in this sta stage. So now we have RCS angle one, we can call that. Just like we did before, we want to mirror this RCS angle object on that plane. And then we want to mirror those two again. Repeat mirroring objects on that plane. Ta-da! Now we are ready once again to make a intersect here. So what we want to do is to create... Oh, I think this one actually needs to go in a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, so this one in here, as you can see, is too short. So let's hide our model. Let's uh, see if we can... Push this one, one millimeter. Yeah, let's go with one millimeter. Or let's see, yes, it's that one, the bottom one. I'm doing this on all four. If I use components, it would be easier. So you just push that hole a little bit, now it looks better. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to back up our hole. So we're gonna call this hole RCS. Hide. We're gonna hide the first one. And we're going to do combine, we're going to, to intersect, keep the tools, and select these four. There we go. That creates a few new objects. Obje these ones here, as you can see. Um, so this one we can actually color dark, just to make it a little bit easier. There we go. I'm going to hide the first ones. I'm going to hide the first ones. So here you see now we have these, uh, these cylinders. That would be our RCS ports. Yes. So if we go back here again, you can see that they are starting to overlap. Again, let's hide those. And we will use these four again to cut in our hole model. Let's go ahead with the hole. In this case, we don't need to use the keep the components here. And we will select these four. You see that now we're actually cutting into the, uh, the white model or the base model. So we call it hole. You can see now how this looks, but as soon as I unhide these ones, it's starting to look really, really cool. Next step here is just to make it easier for everyone. Let's hide these ones here. I'm, by the way, I'm clicking V for fast hide and unhide. We go back to the engines. Now the engines, we haven't cut a hole for as you can see. So we will take this model. We'll use the combine. We will use we will keep the tools in this case because we are going to keep those, those black engine parts. And we're going to use the cuts, select bodies, these four ones. Target body is whole. And done. So now you see the whole model has a lot of holes. This is not maybe super printable um, if you're not using a dual extruder printer, but you can kind of see uh, how that all looks. So if we unhide the four engines and then unhide the four RCS ports, this looks really, really good. To make it even trickier, I believe that we can actually combine all of these models. So before we do that, have a look at here. We have RCS hole three. We also have the engine, let's say this one and this one. So these two are actually intersecting. So we could combine them. Uh, and I think we should do that just to keep the, the STL files at the minimum. So let's go ahead and make join, not keep tools because we wanna minimize the amount of bodies that we're actually using here. So those two combine. There we go. Now you see we have four files, much easier to work with. And we also have a hole. We can actually call this, uh, let's call this white body now. White. So that is our files. We are now ready to send this to a printer. Um, and you can see it looks really good, I think. We have our uh, small border here, and that was basically to keep 
P. So if I hide that one, you see that we actually have some sort of thickness here. If I would have made it even thicker, we would have a much smaller area to work with. It's still pretty tight, um, but I've done this before and I know it prints fairly well. Okay, so important next step. To get these SDL files out in a perfect manner, we want to hide the things that we don't want to export. So uh, instead of clicking here on make and 3D print and saving an SDL file that way, we want to make sure that we have only the files, I mean these four files uh, visible, and then we'll right click on the component and we'll say save as SDL. So we'll call those black parts, you see I've already saved once. <laughs> And then if we hide these ones, we click on that, uh, this body, even though it's one file, we want to make sure we do the same procedure here. That will guarantee basically that we have uh, the same coordinate systems on the parts. So as soon as that is ready, let us go ahead and open up the BCN Cura here, which is the printer that I use for dual extrusion. But yeah, that's that's all you do in the Fusion 360. Hope you learned something. something. So here we go, we will open the file. We have the black and white parts. We will add both of them. We will select this one, should be left extruder. This one is gonna be right extruder. You should be able to right, uh, select both of them, click merge models. Think a little bit. And there we go. And just to make sure that this is slicing correctly, let's go ahead and try a slice. <sighs> Takes a few minutes to slice this. While it's slicing, this video is sponsored by me or this model. So if you wanna buy this model, you can do that down below. Uh, the dual extrusion files will of course be uploaded as well. You can also become a $4 patron and you will get this model sent to you. Uh, as long as you're a confirmed patron. Uh, Woohoo, add. <laughs> Let's go back here. Um, so you can, if we, it's sliced now. So if you look at the layer view, come on graphic card. Yeah, look at that. Woohoo, I can see. Oh yeah, intersects beautifully. Let's go ahead and zoom in there a little bit. Uh, look at that. It's very dark, but uh, yeah, here we go. Here we can see the lines. Looks really good. Yeah, fantastic. Fan All right, so hopefully this video gave you some tips and tricks on how to use Fusion 360 for your dual extrusion prints. And yeah, again, make sure that you like this video. Make sure you subscribe. There's a bunch of more fun content coming. I haven't printed this model yet, so Allow me a few, maybe a week or so, um, to to perform a perfected model. So if you buy the uh, SpaceX Dragon 2 model, um, the dual extrusion color might be a uh, one week after this publish or something. Uh, just, just a heads up. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.